to the Orange County Convention Center for IAPA, the International Association of Theme Park. No, I don't know what it is. It's uh, some acronym, we'll find out soon. International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions. Got it. Pretty much we're going to the carnival today. Yeah. <laughs> Never been inside this building before in my life. Pretty nice. There you go. This is the map they give us to try to figure out where to go inside of this thing. It's so big. We're going, we gotta wait till 10, it's only like 9.30 right now. And then we get to go inside of there and see all of that. Look at there's just flashy lights everywhere. Well, this thing's kind of cool. It like uh, chronicles the amusement park's timeline throughout the years. Look at these guys in their bumper cars. Those look like super fun, but dangerous. The fabulous flume. This is fun. That's not our castle, you liars. All right, we can finally go inside. This place is massive. Holy macaroni. We're just in like a huge section of like coin operated games now. It's just like the land of flashy lights is what this is. All these like games and stuff. Pretty ridiculous. I feel like we got off topic a little bit. We were playing uh, air hockey for quite a while. It was fun. We have to go see this helicopter up here. The Star Wars thing and they've got Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers here. Each one's like a different thing that you can do like the X-Wing or the TIE Fighter or the uh, the Falcon or something like that. I like this Bumblebee here. He's fun. Wow. They just put like a big amusement ride right in the center here. Totally can't even see the... Oh man, look at that thing. They just opened one of these in town. There's so much other stuff to see. This is awesome. This is like a wing coaster. They're like special bumper cars. There's just a bowling alley in the middle of the floor. Got these big simulators here, like this boat and everything. It's cool. This is Sally Corp. And this is what they just released. The Joker and this other animatronic right here. All I know is that there's fire shooting up right here and there's a giant horse right there. We have literally only been from the wall to here and still have all of that to see and all the way up to the front there. Oh my gosh. Well, we're heading into the horror section. This is kind of awesome. The horror section. This is a massive display. All kinds of stuff happening in here. Oh, he popped out of nowhere. Look at these. All kinds of crazy stuff is happening right now. This is awesome. I want that giant dragon for my house. Man. Oh, and this Grim Reaper too. There's just so much stuff going on. <laughs> man, oh man. Another dog showed up and then one came out of the trash can. There's just so many things going on. Oh, and then this guy's got like a dog over here that's attacking. This is amazing. I guess it's a game too. Here's the ride vehicle for uh, Battle Justice League Battle for Metropolis at Six Flags that we saw the Joker from Sally Corp doing the animatronic earlier. It's gonna be a lot like Spider-Man it looks like, but we got shooters in it, which is nice. Like, um, oh, what the heck is the name of that ride? Men in Black. Animatronic dinosaur over here too, it's pretty awesome. We're up on top of the giant horse right now, like overlooking the whole thing. It's pretty, uh, pretty ridiculous everywhere. There's so much to see. I don't even know. I have a feeling we're not gonna make it through all of this. There's a better view of the uh, animatronic dinosaur. All kinds of fun stuff along the back wall. Here's another animatronic dinosaur. These graphics are amazing. And some like uh, haunted house thing here. There's like all these like little mini haunted houses in here and they are awesome. We just went through that one and there's like a zombie guy outside of it too. It's awesome, so much fun here. So I take it back, that wasn't a little haunted house, that was like just a themed environment. Look at this guy, he's on the outside of it. It's awesome looking. I'm just gonna say that over and over again because it really is. This is a giant cross section of a redwood tree. And then you can see how old everything is. It was cut down in 1952, but it like started growing 
in 561 BC is the birth of Buddha, but that's not even when it started growing. This thing is awesome. Just like a giant haunted house, I guess. It's cool looking. I like her. She's fun. I don't know what this thing is, but it looks like fun. I think you stand in it and spin her. Oh, it's like a snowboard thing. That's cool. This is a giant water pump for like a flume ride or like a like a just like big rides like there's Jurassic Park on the TV. It says it's the world's largest submersible pump. Like a little mini flow rider. How would you guys like to ride this water slide? Heck yeah. There's tons of go-karts in here too. That's fun. Pretty crazy that there's just a company here that all they do is sell roller coaster wheels. Like a section of just like stuff you can win for prizes. I like how there's just like a giant obstacle course structure in the middle of this exhibit hall. Like this is kind of ridiculous. Intamin, they've just got their cheetah hunt cart out here. But they do a lot of coasters around town. This is awesome. This is what Zamparella gave to Give Kids the World for free. This little like amusement ride. It's nice. There's a better view of the cheetah hunt car. It's one of my favorite roller coasters. Oh, we made it to my favorite section. The candy and stuff. Yeah, these lights are fun. Yeah, did I say it again? These aren't too bad. They're only like two grand. I might buy that dinosaur. Sorry, dragon. 1500 bucks. So you start out underneath and you get into this web and then you get into that web and then you get in all the way up to the top and if you fall through a web you just land on the next web all these fun oh, yes. little animatronics look like this guy's talking into it pretty cool huh yeah trampoline basketball thing that's pretty fun you have to like play each other at basketball there see it's like splash pad type stuff that's pretty cool <laughs> you guys ready to see the scariest thing you've ever seen they are just holding on. They're not strapped in in any way. Just holding on. It's fun to just look down an aisle and see like some people riding a ride shooting up and down in the distance. Artificial ski slopes. Pretty awesome. Whee! I don't know what ride this is, but I want to ride it. It's a giant jelly belly display. The safest, most advanced technology that you can have for jumping off of a platform into a big giant inflatable Thing. Kind of ridiculous that this is just here in the middle of the exhibit floor. Redneck ruckus. I like this thing that's just spinning around. I guess you gotta jump over it. This is like, what's that game where you have to be a ninja? Wipeout. Or wipeout, yeah. It just looks like so much, but there's like kids down inside of there. These things look like emergency escape slides for airplanes. They set up a little mini roller coaster inside here. Let's have a look see at it. This one started up first. All right, here it goes. I like this guy in a suit that's riding. Oh, it's front and back. This is kind of ridiculous. This is just inside of this convention center. We're getting ready to get one of these things, sort of like this, uh, 400 feet tall within the next couple of years. Yes. You guys remember when I did that assisted free fall out at Forever Florida? Oh, I wouldn't mind this slide for my backyard. I totally want this tortoise like merry-go-round thing. Do this sweet Ferris wheel uh, container thing. Is this the new Kentucky Kingdom in Hurricane Bay? Which one's this one called? The lightning, lightning run. It looks pretty awesome. Is it a launch coaster? Is it a launch coaster? No? Oh. Some sort of like crazy targeting game, like bumper cars, but you have guns and everything spins around. I'm gonna have to see how this works. Ooh, this is awesome. Where's this guy going? Excitement. It's kind of fun. Look at this kid's just straight upside down, heading right for the other guy. And of course, there's everybody's favorite, B&M. This is the Thunderbird. Look at, oh God, it's so good looking. I can't wait to ride a winged coaster. I still haven't ridden one, but I want to ride one really bad. Funlandia! This is my kind of a place. Like a giant water bed at the bottom. Get a little water printer here. He's programming it by the uh, by the iPad. I want to do this crazy looking frog right here. There he is, crazy frog. All right, 
Dogs. That's fun. Probably shouldn't have come here today. I just want to put all this stuff in my backyard. Uh, yes, please. I don't even know what it is, but let's do it. I mean, buy it. I, I'm not going to go in there. There's just too much for me to see for, for me to do everything. A giant slide. Woo, giant inflatable monster truck. Oh, by the way, we haven't even been outside yet. Pretty sure we're just heading into a giant free carnival. Which sounds kind of awesome. Sorry it's a little bit windy out today, but it's uh, pretty ridiculous everywhere. <laughs> I don't even know where to look. Oh, I like this shark slide. It's fun. Scariest ride ever. I like these guys. They're like, let's build a ropes course, and then we'll put a picnic table in the middle of it. This is awesome. Of all the things I could say I want in my backyard, let's go with this one. Like a mechanical bull going here and everything. far it's gonna flip. I like it when it stalls and you're almost upside down. Oh, uh, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna ride this now. It's kind of frightening. Yeah. It's like a nice relaxing swing ride. I like it. Oh, it's starting to go pretty fast. I like that. You ready? This is fun. the sun. Uh, I, I feel like the, the need to swing my feet with this. Maybe it like stalls at the top. Ready? 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 Uh, <laughs> it's 120 degrees. We got like carnival worker bunk houses. That's kind of fun. Good news guys. These inflatables are only like a thousand bucks a piece if you buy three of them. Let's do it. I don't know. We might head back inside because, I mean, once you've seen one inflatable slide, you've pretty much seen every inflatable slide. Although that inflatable zip line in there looks kind of cool. Like you climb up there and then you have a giant zip line that you can zip between the two inflatable spots. It's like a little swing. Cool. We're back inside and just the amount of inflatable things is kind of kind of harsh in my buzz. These little shooting galleries are real fun. I like these fun little like, you take them out in the middle of the lake and like hang from them and stuff. Looks like fun. That is one big screen. It's like a company that makes zipline stuff. And they have a Guinness World Record. We're in like another one of these little haunted houses. Oh. Frozen? Oh, she was frozen. These people have frozen boots. Please, please. That was loud. That was a pig. Sweet floating balls here that are like autonomous, and you can do all kinds of fun, like little displays with them and stuff. This thing's kind of cool. That's like a whole storyline and everything. It's an animatronic inside of a thing. Getting ready to ride this guy. We're in line to ride this, and that's gonna be stuck in my head all day. Do you get to control it, or does it just do it automatically? I like some people brought, like this guy brought his GoPro and he has it like mounted to it and everything. What the heck, I wish I had done that. <laughs> Let's do this. It just doesn't seem safe yet. It hasn't locked in, I can't like, boop. <laughs> Something tells me these altimeters are wrong. It snugs down on its own, which is pretty ridiculous. And there it is, it's in place. I like it, he asked me if I was gonna keep my camera out. I was like, yeah, and he's like, hold on to it really tight. Like, I wish that all theme parks did that. All right, we're going. I feel like this is a, uh, we're, we're moving. Oh, they're already starting to fly. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Whee! It's almost like a tilt-a-whirl. That's fun. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, this one's way more fun than the one outside. 
Are you guys having fun yet? Well, we're, we're flipping around a bunch, for sure. I, I, I like how the one in front of us is counter-rotating with us. <laughs> I like how we like stay upside down for a second. Oh, it's upside down just for a moment. Wait, I like how there's just people eating lunch like underneath us. Where were they? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there they are, just hanging out, eating lunch. This, I like, oh, we're, now we're going the opposite direction. How did that happen? I don't know, but it just turned us around. <laughs> I like that we're just inside. Oh, and oh. that's the end of it. That was pretty fun for like a small format ride. It's really yeah. intense. I'd buy it. It's like this wizard duel thing over there where they have like magic wands. It's really fun. And they like as you said, shoot at each other. Like they point it at each other and they try to get these lights behind them out. And then all these things like attack them while it's happening. This is pretty awesome. It's called Monster City Studios and it looks like they like design stuff. Oh, look like, yeah, at like these guys. Him. Oh, she's like controlling it with her hand. That's fun. Oh, it's real connect. All right, let's see. I got like these full body chair massaging things. And on the way out, I got some caramel covered popcorn. All in all, that was a fun trip. I wish I could have showed you guys way more, but um, I was trying to do it covertly. I don't know why. Man, IAPA was totally awesome. I wish we had gone a little bit earlier in the week. Today was the only day that I could go. But uh, next year, I think we're gonna go earlier because there's a lot of stuff that happens, like all kinds of reveals for new rides and new animatronics and all kinds of new technology happen earlier in the week. So, Next year, we're going to try to get there for that sort of thing. But I still had fun this year, so we're going to go to bed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.